G'day guys, my name is Dave Tran and welcome to another Throwback Thursday edition of Guitar Zero to Hero Song Tutorial. And by request, today I'll be teaching you how to play Decode by Paramore. In this video I'm going to be teaching you how to play three main sections. The first section I'm going to teach you is the acoustic rhythm. So this is if you just want to play on an acoustic guitar. The second section I'm going to teach you is the electric rhythm. So if you have an electric guitar and you want to play the full band version, I'm going to teach you how to do that. And then the third section, I'm going to teach you how to play all the lead riffs in this song. So let's start with the acoustic rhythm. And for the basics, you'll need your guitar in standard tuning and you'll need a capo on the first fret of your guitar. In the actual recording of the song, they detune their guitars and play it differently, but it is quite a hassle, so I'm not going to go through that. This version is a lot easier. You just need standard tuning and a capo on the first fret of your guitar. So let's start with the main four chord chord progression that's played basically throughout the whole song with the exception of the outro. The four chords are F, D minor, A minor, and E minor. For the first verse, you're just strumming each chord once and holding it out for four beats, which sounds like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now when we get to the pre-chorus, for the first three chords, the F, the D minor, and the A minor, we're going to play these chords with eight down strums. These down strums are eighth notes, so it's one and two and three and four and. And on the final E minor, we're going to down strum this 16 times with 16th notes. So one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So the pre-chorus will sound like this. Next we get to the chorus and we have a different strumming pattern here for our chords which goes down, 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 up, up, down, up. And you're going to play that once for each of the chords. So the chorus will just sound like this. Down, 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 down up, up, down. Down. The only other strumming pattern we need to learn for this chord progression is in the solo section. This solo strumming pattern will go like this, down, up, down, and you play that twice for each chord. So it'll sound like this in succession, down, up, down, down, up, down. So together with the chords, down, Now the only variation here is the second time you play that chord progression in the solo. The last E minor changes the strumming pattern and it goes down, up, down, 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 down. So the second chord progression in the solo will sound like this. Down. After the first chorus, there's a really short break and it's really easy. There's just two chords. We have A minor and then G. And you're just going to strum them once and hold them out for four beats each. Then when you get to the bridge, you're strumming each chord once and holding it out for four beats, just like the first verse. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Finally, we get to the outro rhythm, and the outro rhythm here has a lot of chord changes. So let's start with our first line of chords and focus on the first bar. So we start with an F, and then we go to G, and then D minor, A minor, and then E minor. The F's on the one beat, G's on the two beat, D minor's on the three beat, the A minor is on the four beat, and then the E minor is on the end beat after the four. So it'll sound like this. One and two and three and four and. And for the second bar, we have F on the one beat, A minor on the two beat, E minor on the three beat, and then we have G on the end beat after the four. 
Now I have that G up in brackets because it is optional. You don't need to necessarily play that if you don't want to, but it is actually in the recording. So the second bar sounds like this. One and two and three and four and... And in total, the first line will sound like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... You repeat that first line three times and the second line of chords is exactly the same except we don't have that last G on the end. And then finally you just end the song by playing the D minor three times. Down, down, down. And that's the end of the song. So all together the outro will sound like this. So now we get to the electric guitar rhythm. I'm going to teach you this on the acoustic though, just so it's easier for you to hear. Now for the electric guitar rhythm, you will need your guitar in drop D tuning. Now to do that, all you'll need to do is take your E note down to a D. So now we've taken our E note down to a D note, and that's all we need to do. That's drop D tuning. I just want to clarify that now that your guitar is in drop D tuning, your power chord shape no longer looks like this. It now is simply just your index finger barring across the 6th, 5th and 4th strings. And that is our power chord shape in drop D tuning. Alright, so for this electric rhythm, we do have a 4 chord chord progression that is played for most of the song, except for the outro. And that chord progression goes like this. We have a power chord on the 4th fret, so all you need to do is take your index finger and bar it across the 4th fret for the 6th, 5th and 4th strings. And that's all we need to play. The rest of the strings need to be muted. You just concentrate on those heavy three strings. That's chord one. Then chord two is a first fret power chord. And then chord three is an eighth fret power chord. So exact same shape. And then the fourth chord shape is a third fret power chord. Now for the verse, we're gonna be playing these chords with all down strums, 16th notes. So 1E and a 2E and a 3E and a 4E and a and you're going to be palm muting it as well. So take the fleshy bit of your palm, rest it very lightly on the edge of the bridge, too far in and the notes won't ring out. It needs to be right on the edge and you're strumming each chord 16 times. So it'll sound like this. 1E and a 2E and a 3E and a 4E and a So that's it for the verse, really nice and easy. When we get to the pre-chorus, you strum the first three chords just once and let it ring out. And on the fourth chord shape, the third fret power chord, you're gonna build this up with 16th notes. Like that. One thing you can add to these chords in the pre-chorus though, is some extra notes. So for these extra notes, all you'll do with this chord shape is take your ring finger, on the third string, you'll put your ring finger two frets up from where you're barring like that and your pinky finger will go one fret up from your ring finger on the second string so that's a more expanded chord shape that you can play for the first three chords of this pre-chorus and you just take that exact same shape and move it down as required and then the fourth chord is just the normal power chord So the pre-chorus could sound like this. Now when we get to the chorus, we have the exact same chord progression. Nothing changes with the chord progression. Our strumming pattern now is down, 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 up, up, down, up. So similar to the acoustic rhythm. You're gonna play that strumming pattern once for each of the power chords and it will just sound like this. Down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 
after the first chorus there's a quick break and what we're going to do is play the 8th fret power chord for 16 down strums and then we go down to the 6th fret power chord and we're going to end this on the E beat after the 4 so it'll sound like this Next we get to the rhythm in the solo section and our strumming pattern is exactly the same as what our acoustic rhythm was which is down, up, down and you play that twice for each chord which will sound like this down, down, down And the second time you play the progression, when we do go to this third fret power chord, you play a slightly different strumming pattern, which goes down, up, down, 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 down. And finally, we get to the outro, which is easy. We're going to start on the fourth fret power chord, and then go to the sixth fret, and then go to the first fret, and then eighth, and then third. So this will be on the one beat, that will be on the two beat, that will be on the three beat, that will be on the four beat, and that will be on the end beat after the four, which will sound like this. One and two and three and four and. And then the second bar will be fourth fret power chord, eighth fret power chord, third fret power chord, and then the sixth fret power chord on the end beat after the four. But this is highlighted in brackets because it's not exactly necessary. You don't have to play it, but it is there in the recording. So in total, the full riff. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. You play that first line through three times and then the second line is exactly the same except we don't have this sixth fret power chord on the end beat after the four. Then to end the song, we hit this first fret power chord and we strum that three times like that. All right, so now let's get to the lead guitar in this song. Now in the recording they actually drop tune their guitars but I'm going to teach you how to play it just in standard tuning which is a lot easier. Let's start with the intro riff which is also played in the verse. So we're going to start with our fingers in a shape like this which is very similar to a D minor chord shape. We're just going to take that and move it up to the 10th fret of the 3rd string, the 11th fret of the 2nd string and the 9th fret of the 1st string like that. We're going to start by alternating between the second string and the third string and you're going to do that three times. Like that. Now one thing to note is that you're always going to be playing the third string with a down pick and you're always going to be playing the second string or the first string with an up pick. So up, down, up, down, up, down, like that. Then after we've alternated three times, you're then going to go up and pluck the first string and then the third string. So all together that first bar will sound like this. You're going to repeat that bar twice and then you're going to change positions. So your middle finger will go on the 13th fret of the third string, your next finger on the 11th fret of the second string and your ring finger will go on the 13th fret of the first string. We're going to play the exact same picking pattern, so alternate between the second and the third three times, and then alternate between the first and third, so. And then for our final bar, what you're going to do is just lift your ring finger, and your index finger will bar the 11th fret for the second and first strings. And we're going to alternate between the second and third strings twice, then hit the second string, and then hit the first string. And that's where we end it. So the intro and verse riff will sound like this. You might actually think there's more notes being played. It sounds closer to this. But that's just because the guitar has a delay pedal on it. So if you do want to get close to that exact tone, you will need to get a delay pedal for your electric guitar. When we get to the pre-chorus, the riff is almost identical. There's just one little variation. The very last bar, instead of playing this, 
we're just going to hit the 11th fret of the first string. So from the third bar, it'll sound like this. And that's it for the pre-chorus lead. Now we get to the chorus lead. Now the chorus lead notes are gonna be identical to the lead notes in the pre-chorus, except the timing differs here a little bit. So the chord shapes and the notes we're playing are exactly the same, just the timing changes. Now the note where the timing changes is the second last note of each bar. So for example, this first shape, you actually go up to that first string a lot quicker than you usually do in the verse and the pre-chorus. And you hold that out and then go back to the last note. So it sounds like this. Notice how I rush to that first string. And normally in the verse, you don't rush to it. It's just played very straight. That's the verse and this is the chorus. So the chorus lead would just sound like this. The break is really easy. We're just alternating between the 11th fret of the second string and the 10th fret of the third string. You alternate those notes four times. And then with your index finger, you just take it down to the ninth fret of the second string and alternate that three times. All right, now we get to the solo of the song and this is really fun to play. So you're gonna take your ring finger, put it on the 13th fret of the second string. Now you're gonna pluck it and bend up, but only a little bit. It's only a slight bend. And then release it back down to the 13th fret. Like that. So it's very subtle. Pluck it once, bend up and release. And then after that, you go down to the 11th fret with your ring finger and then you repeat that again. So there's a bend 11th fret and then bend 11th fret. And then we go to the 13th fret of the first string and then back to the 11th fret of the second string. To start this second line of the solo, we're going to do that bend again, go down to the 11th fret, pluck that 11th fret again, and then slide down to the 9th fret. Then after that, we go to the 5th fret of the 3rd string, 6th fret, pluck the 6th fret, and then we slide up to the 8th fret. And altogether, the second line sounds like this. Then our third line of the solo is exactly the same as the first line of the solo. Then for our fourth line of the solo, we start with our 13th fret of the second string, and you pluck it again, slide up to the 14th fret. Then we're gonna to go to the 16th fret of the first string, then 18th fret of the first string, and then 14th fret of the second, 13th fret of the second, and that's the end of the solo. So the solo in full will sound like this. And then finally we get to the outro lead and we have two lines of tab here. To start off we go 14th fret of the second string, 13th fret, then 11th fret, and then we go to the 13th fret of the first string and back to the 11th fret of the second. So it'll sound like this. And then we go to the 14th fret, 16th fret, and then 13th fret of the third string. So that full line in total. You repeat that first line four times, and then our second line is just the 14th fret of the second string, three times. Then after you've held out that last note for a little bit, you suddenly pull off onto the 13th fret. Like that. 
So now I'm going to be doing two playthroughs of this song. The first playthrough will have the acoustic rhythm, the second playthrough will have the full band and the electric guitar rhythm. I've also got a fellow YouTuber, Clancy, to lend her vocals on top for some context. Be sure to check out her channel and subscribe, she's got an amazing voice so you won't be disappointed. Feel free to play these back as many times as you'd like to, to practice playing along to, and see how you go.
Thanks guys, hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Please hit that like button, hit subscribe, leave your thoughts, comments, questions and requests below and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.